Hi, I'm Lari, and welcome to your upper body and core workout. I hope y'all are ready to get going. This one's gonna be super challenging. Whenever you need to take a break, take a freaking break, y'all. Take it. This one's challenging. I'm telling you, this is your warning. Grab a mat. You're gonna need two sets of dumbbells, just a lighter pair to start, and then preferably a heavier set one. But if you only have one pair of dumbbells, Cool, do what you have. You could even grab a, a water jug or something. You find something around the house and we'll make do with it, y'all. Uh, special times call for us, uh, special measures. All right, so grab your, your light dumbbells. Enough of me talking, we're gonna get right to work. Here we go. So we're gonna start with standing flies. Bring those dumbbells, shoulder level. We bring it out, squeeze the upper back. Bring it in, out and in. Focus on the upper back squeeze. This is just a warm up. So we're just trying to activate a little bit. We'll also feel, feel it in the front of the delts. <sighs> Try to keep those shoulders down a little bit. Don't hunch up. We don't want to uh, let the traps take over. <sighs> Five more. Five, four, three, two. Hold it here. Front raises up and down, up and down. Slow and controlled. No, we're not going scan. None of this. All in the delts. You can even have a slight lean forward, and that may hit the anterior delt muscle a little bit better as well. Keep that breath slow and controlled, especially when that heart rate gets up later in class. Five more. Last five, four, three, two. Lateral raises, take them to the side. Now we're hitting the medial delt, the, 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 the delt that gives you that round shape right here. That's what we're hitting. These are the best for them. Still just getting nice and warmed up. After this warm up, we're going to say goodbye to these lighter weights. If we have a heavier one available, we're going to use it. But if you need to come back to the light weights, do it. Five more. Five, four, three, two, one. One, set those dumbbells down. We're getting right into it today. I'm not playing around. We're going burpees, but this time we're going to step it back. Let's make sure we're getting that core nice and activated. Bend the knees so much so that you can plant the palms. Step it back. We're in a high plank from this position. Make sure your belly is drawing up and in. This is activated. If you need to, bring it to the knees. What we don't want to see. Butts in the air and you're reaching forward. This is called a downward facing dog. This is not a plank. You are stretching. Plank, downward facing dog, do a yoga class later. All right, we're all holding this plank right now. Also, what we don't wanna see is that, that's called an upper facing dog. Make it good, make it count. Shoulders are over the wrist, head is reaching forward, heels go behind, quad should be engaged as well. All right, you guys ready to come out of this plank? Let's do it. Bring the feet in and then bring it up. Let's step it back and step it in each time. We just have five of these to start. Go at your own pace. Here we go, two more. Last one. Now we're gonna hold this high plank. Hold this high plank. Widen the stance until it's mat distance. Keep the hip point square. We're going to tap the shoulder right and left. We have 10 of these. How are your shoulders feeling? Oh, we're gonna get them working. Don't you worry. Had this as a request, and I'm gonna deliver. I'm going to deliver for you, for our sanity. Come on, three more. Last two. Last one. Step it in. Bring it back. All right, now we're going to do five jump back burpees, but if you need to, just step it back. All right, we jump back high plank. Make sure it's up and in. Tight and right. Five of these. Let's go at your own pace. Three more. Last two. Last one, hold this high plank. Now we're gonna reach it forward. Keep those hip points square. We reach forward, bring it back. Reach forward, bring it back. Nine, keep this tempo. Eight, seven, six, no wobbling, none of this. Tighten right. Four, three, two, Last one, jumper set back in. Five burpees. Three. Two. 
One, hold this high plank. We're gonna bring it to your forearms, one at a time. Five on the right, five on the left. Keep the hip point square, no wobbling. Let's get it. Down to the forearms, press off with the right. Right, left, right, left. Right, left, right, left. Minimize the twisting, widen the stance. Switch it to the left. Five, press. Four, press. Three, press. Two, press. Last one. Five burpees, let's go. Four, three, two, one. Hold this high plank. We're going 10 push ups. If you need to, drop it to the knees. If not, we're maintaining high. Go ahead, bring those elbows back 45 degrees. Then we press it up. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, five burpees. Five, four, three, two, last one. Inhale, arms reach up overhead as we exhale, hinge forward. We get a little bit of recovery right here. Bend the knees so much so that you can take one hand forward, one hand back, and guide yourself to a nice seated position. Get your core activated before we start doing this core work. Inhale, 360 breath. As we exhale, belly button goes in and up towards the spine to activate the deepest, most inner layer core muscle called the TVA. All right, so get it engaged. Now we bring it back, slow and controlled. Keep that activation. Okay, we're gonna work the lower body. We drive the knees in and tap the heels. Knees in, tap the heels. Right now our knees are bent. You wanna take it one step farther. Straighten the legs, bring it in. Straighten the legs, bring it in. But only if you could maintain that core activation. Only. Gotta keep the form. Got to keep the mind-muscle connection in order to advance. If not, we're just learning bad habits. And that's not what we want. So if you're right here, this still works. This is still challenging. Here we go. Five more. Five. Four. Three. Two. Press that low back into the mat. Last one. Bring the knees down. Bring the feet down. Excuse me. Hands go behind the head. We're going to crunch it up. So squeeze it up, draw it up and in still, and then bring it down. I'm gonna blow your mind for a second. We always, I've always keep not to do this, but I've had, a, I've had a revelation. So draw your chin in towards the chest. Now we're gonna crunch it up. See if you can keep your stomach a little bit flatter. The other way I found a lot of bunching. So this way, I know it's going against the norm. Just try it, up and lower. Think of it as mini crunches. We're not even going all the way down. Chin is tucked. Let me blow your mind. See if we can keep that engagement a little bit better. And guess what? I can, if you don't like this way, go back, ball underneath the chin, and we reach up and down. We're reaching up and down. But this way, I get better activation. It goes against everything I've ever learned. But I have an expert tell me that this uh, is her preferred way to do crunches. She told me the reasons why. She was able to get better core activation, better for postnatal clients as well. And guess what? I'm a fan, let's do it. <sighs> Halfway down, all the way up. <sighs> Keep the TV engaged. Also, you can maintain better engagement of that deepest, most inner layer core muscle. <sighs> all right, a few more like this. Then we're gonna combine the two, lower and upper, double crunch. <sighs> If you want, extend the legs. Keep the breath. Here's your last five, four, three, two. Hold it at the top, hold it at the top. Left knee stays bent, right leg goes straight. We're twisting towards that left knee. And then we switch bicycles if we need to. Reduce the range of motion. Maybe we're tapping and maybe we're not going as far. Do what you can today. That's it. Don't think about what I'm doing. Think about, well, hey, if, I'm not gonna be able to do this that long. Take a break. 
Reduce the range of motion. It's up to you. Just keep moving. Whew. Come on, we have about 20 seconds left. 10, 8, 6, 4, 3, 2, 1. Legs go long. Release the head. Bring the hands underneath the low back. We go down for a count of 3, 2, hold. Use the lower abdominals to drive it back up. Three, two, hold. Use the lower abdominals to drive it back up again. Three, two, hold. Lower abdominals, bring it up if we need to. Shorten the lever, bend the knees. That is always an option. <sighs> Slow on the eccentric phase. We do not use momentum here. We hardly ever use momentum unless I tell you to. Otherwise, it's always control. <sighs> two more. Last one, hold at the bottom, hold at the bottom. We start to flutter kick up and down, up and down. Ooh, how you feeling today? Oh, this is hard, challenging. But does it challenge us? Won't change us, keep it up. 20 seconds, keep this tempo. It's burning for me too. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, Two, now hold, keep those heels off the ground. I'm watching you, keep it up. 10 seconds, five, four, three, two. Oh, release the legs. We're getting right into it. Roll onto the right side, coming into your side plank. You have options. This is one option. Come onto the knee, come onto the hand. Second option, widen your base, front foot forward. This is the most challenging variation, stacking the feet. So choose your whatever you want right now. Okay, hand reaches over the head. We're gonna crunch it in. Squeeze those abdominals. Bring it out. We have nine more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold it in, little crunches. Think about half range of motion. Eight more. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold, release that left foot down. We're rotating it onto the forearms. We're in a forearm plank. Now bring it up, right hand, followed by the left. We're taking this for a nice round of push-ups, but we're gonna do the concentric or the power explosive phase on the knees. So we're taking it down for a count of five, four, three, two, hold. Knees go down, press it off for one. Now you can keep your knees lifted. That's not happening for me today. So here we go, elbows in tight two, hitting the triceps. So three, two, one and hold. Knees down, press it up. We got lucky that time, I only did a three count. Let's go back to five, four, three, two, hold. Knees down, explode. Again, five, four, three, two, hold. Knees down, explode. High plank, five, four, Three, two, hold. Knees down, explode. Come on, five more. Five, four, three, two, hold. Knees down, explode. Five, four, three, two, hold. Knees down, explode. Come on, three more. Five, four, three, two, hold. Knees down, explode it up. Bring it up, five, four, three, two, hold. Knees down, press it up, come on, we can do one more. Let's go, five, four, three, two, hold. Knees down, explode. Curl the toes under, lift the knees off. We're coming back to the forearms. Now we have to go to the other side. Rotate onto the left side. Go to whatever version you did on the other side. So I stack my feet, that's what I'm gonna do. Right hand reaches overhead. We bring it in. Bring it out, crunch it, full range of motion. Eight more, eight, bottom hip is lifted. Seven, don't let it sink, it lifts. Six, five, four, three, two. Hold it in, half range of motion. In, halfway out. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. 
One, go back to center, rotate back to that forearm plank. We push off high on the hands. We have mountain climbers. Hips are level, knee in, left knee in. Right, left, right, left, right, left. Pick up the tempo, 20 seconds. As long as those hips are down. We're not up here. Uh-uh, this is cheating yourself. Hips low, level. Belly button still up and in. 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and hold. We're coming back to those push ups. Elbows in tight. Five seconds down. Five, four, three, two, hold. Knees down. Explode. It's getting tough. Five, four, three, two, hold. Knees down. Press it up. Ooh. Come on, eight more. Five, four, three, two, hold. Knees down, bring it up again. Five seconds down, one count hold. Knees down, press it up hard. Five seconds down. What's your core doing? Is it just hanging out or is it drawing up and in still? It should be. Slow and controlled down. Knees down, press up. Whew. Slow and controlled down. Knees down, press up. Three more. Knees down, press up. It's becoming a struggle. This is where we really will start to see the change. Maintain your quality form. Come on, last one. Press it up, curl the toes under. Come on, atomic mountain climbers. We twist, opposite knee, in, towards opposite elbow. Just maintaining this pace. Eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Jump the feet back in and rise. Awesome work. If you need to grab a drink of water, grab it right now. If not, we're grabbing those heavier set of dumbbells. So when you pick up your dumbbells, make sure you have equal distance in the feet. We're hinging from the hips and the knees. Remember to drive through the legs to pick up the dumbbells. We're not picking up from that low back. Come to the top of your mat. We're going in to lunges, but we're gonna go ahead and start with the upper body too. So palms face in, left foot forward, right foot goes behind. We have a lunge. We curl in this lunge and then step it on in. Nine more, let's go. Lunge, curl, step it in. Thumbs on top. Elbows not, elbows are hinging, but make sure you're not swinging them forward. I'm exaggerating, but y'all know what I mean. Step it in, four more. Three. Two. One, hold this isometric lunge. We're bringing it into a shoulder press. So I'm gonna give you a different view. We're right here holding this lunge. Now we press it up and down, normal tempo. We have 15. Get low in that lunge. Come on, 10 more. 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Great job. Dumbbells go to the side. Hinge the upper body forward. We're framing the dumbbells with the feet. Keep a hold of those dumbbells. We step the left leg back. We're in a high plank, but now with those dumbbells. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and give you these options because I know people hate holding on to them. So if you don't wanna do a row like this, then place the left hand onto the mat and we're rolling just like this. Another option is to bring it to a bird dog, and we're rolling like this. We got options, so you get to choose. All right, we have plank rows. 15 on the right, let's go. 15 only on the right. Wrap it out. Come on, 10 more. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, hold that high plank. If you were placing the hand on the mat, go ahead and re-grab that dumbbell. We jump it in and rise, right foot forward. Lunge with a hammer curl. We lunge, hammer curl. Step it forward, keeping the weight heavy in the right heel. No swinging with those arms. Squeeze the biceps. Control it. Come on. Five more. How you feeling? Feeling strong? We got it, three more, three, two, 
three, two, last one. Now we're holding this lunge. Hold it, field goal position. Press it up, lower down. Press it up, lower down. I know it's burning. Try not to hyperextend at the lumbar spine. Neutral low back. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Great job. Frame that right foot with the dumbbells. We step it back. We're coming into our high plank position. If you need to, one hand's coming to the mat. If it doesn't feel comfortable, if it does, keep grabbing. We have 15 rows in this high plank. Let's go. Hit points as squares can be. Here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. I'm shaking. Come on. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Grab that dumbbell. Jump it in and rise. Okay. We're coming into a hip hinge. High row, we're gonna work the upper back. So, to hinge, good posture, slight pinch of the shoulder blades. We press that booty back like we're doing a deadlift. We press back, oh guess what? The end of our deadlift is our hip hinge starting point. So from here, the upper body, lower body's not moving. Now the arms are gonna do some work. Palms face in, squeeze the upper, upper back as we draw the shoulder blades together, controlling the way down. Let's do it. Up, lower down. Control it. 10 more. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now we're doing 10 deadlifts. So bring it up. Use the lower body to bring it up. Hips go back. Here we go. Five more. And four, we're going to add an upright row at the top. Last two, last one, now we add it. Upright row, control, 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 explode. Upright row, control, upright row, control, upright row, control. Hold it at the top, just upright row for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. We're going back to that hip hinge. Hinge forward. It's the bottom of a shortened deadlift. From here, we draw those dumbbells away from each other. Squeeze the upper back. Bring it down with control. Up and squeeze. You're looking down. Come on. You know what to do. Ten more. Nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one. Ten deadlifts. Control it. Use the lower body to initiate this movement. Dumbbells are just along for the ride. So if you bring the dumbbells up first, you are using your low back. And that's not what we want to do. All in the lower body. For five, four, and three, we'll add the upright row. Two, one, add the upright row. Five. Four, control it. Three, two, one, just upright row. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring it down for that deadlift. Slow and control it until you can set the weights onto the sides, out of the way on the mat. Hands go down. We jump it back. We jump it in. Five burpees. Let's go. Only four left. Three. You can always step back. Two. Last one. Hold this high plank. We're going back into those push-ups. Elbows in. Slow and controlled. Ten of them. We can explode off the knees or you can keep the knees off. Let's do it. Five. Four. Three. Two. Hold. Knees down. Press it up. Again. Slow and controlled, knees down, curl the toes, knees off, slow and controlled down, knees on, we press, keep this tempo. At your own pace, make them 10 perfect reps. Elbows in tight, we are also targeting the triceps, 
the chest, the anterior delts. Come on, I think we have three more. We got it, come on, two more. Last one. And press it up. This time, let's take it slow and controlled all the way down until the belly's onto the mat as well. Hands go forward. Now we're gonna hit the back side of your core. So the core does include the low back as well. So let's go ahead and hit it. All right, right arm goes up, left leg goes up. We lift, now we're squeezing the left glute and the, uh, and the upper left glute. So bring it up, control it down. Opposite arm, opposite leg with control. All right, so you can hang out here and alternate one leg at a time. But if you want, let's double it up. Both arms, both legs. And now I prefer to take my hands back into a field goal position. Find what works for you. Where do you get the best engagement? Chest lifts, quads lift. Squeeze the low back, squeeze the upper glutes. Control it down. Make sure you're squeezing hard right here. We have five, four, three, two, one, and hold, arms reach long. Now we're going for a swim. Lift the chest, lift the quads. Swim, opposite leg, opposite arm. Come on, it's burning, I know. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, 10 supermans. Same, both arms, both legs. Big squeeze at the top, big squeeze. Five more, five, four, three, two, one. Bring the hands to frame the chest. We press off onto the knees. Now you can always hang out on the knees, do the knees for both the eccentric and concentric. But if we can, high plank. Here we go, last set of push-ups, elbows in tight. Knees down, press off. We have 10 of them, go at your own pace. Low and controlled, knees down, press off. It's burning, I know. This is it, final set. We are going to have jacked arms. I'm just kidding. Oh. Kinda not though. Come on, five more. Strong is beautiful. Four more. Make sure we're still breathing. Inhale. Exhale as we push. Inhale. Exhale as we push. Last one. Now hold at the top. Knees come off. We're in a high plank, mountain climbers. Knee in. Knee in. Pick up the tempo. Here for 30 seconds. I know those shoulders are on fire. Keep them stacked over the wrist. Belly button draws up and in. 15 seconds. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Five burpees. Woo. This almost feels like a recovery. Here we go, last one. Last one. You can stay on the hands. You can bring it to the forearms. I'm just giving you what you want. Final exercise, plank hold. 60 seconds, hold it strong. Look forward at the mat. Heels go back. Head reaches forward. Belly button draws up and in. Adjust it as needed. I know it's burning, fight for it, come on. Keep that activation. <sighs> Try to keep looking right at the top of your mat. <sighs> come on, we have 30 seconds, we're in this together. It's not easy, it's gonna be worth it. Fight for it, every second, every inch. It's temporary. <sighs> 20 seconds, keep the hips level, keep the activation in the core. 15 seconds, 10, eight, six, five, four, 
three, two, release the knees. Oh goodness. Send the hips back to the heels. We're done. Oh. Awesome, awesome job. Okay, now we gotta stretch just a little bit. Remember, I have, I'm gonna keep the stretching short. Let's just walk it forward. Now if you're, we can go right here. This is a more gentle stretch. Opens up the chest and upper back a little bit more. <laughs> if you wanna hit the core, stretch out the core a little bit more, you can walk the hands long and then kind of wiggle side to side. Look over the right shoulder. Walk over the left shoulder. Oh, just melt. Hold out right here. All right. So uh, that was challenging. You know, it's pretty challenging to uh, to talk and do something. So awesome job. Whatever you did, if you had to take a million breaks or if you could only get through five minutes of it, hey, that's awesome. Always be proud of what you can do because some people aren't able to do any of this. So always be proud and just enjoy it. Enjoy being healthy enough to exercise. Always remember that. Count your blessings, y'all. All right. Oh, can we just end right here? Y'all, let me know what you wanna see. My heart rate is pretty high. I'm in the orange zone. What about you? Have a wonderful rest of the day. Let me know what you wanna see, like, subscribe, and I will create it for you. Bye. <laughs>